a glimpse into the collateral damage of war. UNICEF New Zealand's executive director has been in the city to launch its latest programme, aimed at helping teenagers in Lebanon. She's hoping it resonates with locals. Because Dunedin has such a rich commitment and history in education, um, and kind of gets how important that is personally, and also for the town economically, we decided to launch here. Almost 30,000 teenagers are unable to access public education in Lebanon as a result of conflict in neighbouring Syria. UNICEF's pledging to help 2,000 youth build a future through training. The scheme's being supported by Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull and members of the local Lebanese community. Now the aim is to get more people involved by raising awareness of the foreign situation. The whole population of Lebanon is 4.2 million, so that's all of New Zealand and Otago. And then on top of that, 1.2 to 1.5 million refugees who are living in housing that is not allowed to be permanent. UNICEF staff have been working in Lebanon for years, seeing firsthand the plight of adults and youth. Core services like healthcare are now in place, so the focus is turning to education as the conflict enters its sixth year. But solutions are proving costly for all aid organisations. What you need to know is on the ground in Lebanon, all of us will work together delivering those services. So just come back to you, come back to your interest and your means and the, um, the level at which you would naturally as a family engage. She says responding to conflicts can be a balancing act with so many civil wars happening around the world. But the effort's worthwhile to help children who are suffering as a result of adult politics. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.